Hello everyone welcome to Yadna Investment Academy today we will talk in detail about mutual fund managers roles and responsibilities many times we get this question that why should i invest in mutual funds and rather not create my own stock portfolio by following stock experts advice on tv or following star investors portfolio such as rakesh junjunwala or doing my own analysis on the stock market and accordingly pick up the right stocks for myself why should i pay 2 to 2.5% of my total assets as a fund management charges each year though these are valid questions but the comparison is not correct stock experts on tv mostly have a short term view of each stock whereas the fund manager will have the long term view fund manager will never follow a star investor because the market timing is most important otherwise everyone would have been a billionaire by just following warren buffet we can never compare our own analysis with the analysis done by mutual fund houses which manage thousands of crores of rupees and have a large team of financial analysts which crunch numbers day in and day out even after fund management fees or expense ratio as we call it of almost 2% the mutual fund managers have given returns much better than their benchmarks consistently as of today average of equity large cap mutual funds they are giving annualized returns of 13.2% for last 5 years and 16.1% for last 3 years which if we compare with bsc sensex index are much better similarly if we compare equity mid cap mutual funds versus bsc mid cap index the returns are much better even in debt the fund managers are able to create alpha over the fixed deposit interest rates so what do fund managers do to earn this extra returns over their benchmarks and that too consistently so let's find out So fund managers are responsible for implementing a consistent investment strategy that reflects the goals and objectives of the fund. Let's discuss in detail the roles and responsibilities of the fund manager. For actively managed mutual funds, the fund manager is basically in charge of what stocks, bonds or other assets the fund will buy with investors money. Essentially, the fund manager will function as a stock picker. Fund managers focus on various factors such as financial ratios, price momentum, sales, earnings, dividends and other various matrices before making a buy or sell decision. Most of the time mutual fund managers are supported by a staff of analysts, traders and other people who monitor the markets, make trades and perform other duties at the fund house. This support staff is very important as they give all the right inputs to the fund managers to make a informed decision. Every fund has a defined investment objectives which decides not only the asset type but also the general theme within which a fund manager can select securities within that framework the fund manager decides on the asset allocation he or she decides how much cash to carry for redemptions what proportion of assets needs to be there in large cap mid caps and small caps If it is a hybrid fund then it needs to be decided how much assets needs to be there in equity and how much in debt if it is a complete debt fund then it needs to be decided how much money needs to be allocated to government securities or corporate bonds etc fund managers also decide on the overall portfolio strategy they will adopt for stock picking they may adopt top down or bottom up approach or sometimes both for stock picking The fund manager looks at the overall economy and zeros in on sector and stocks that can benefit from prevailing scenarios in top down approach whereas in bottom up approach the fund manager usually focuses on fundamentals of the company irrespective of overall economic situation depending on overall fund house's strategy the fund manager may also decide which stocks to pick growth or value Growth stocks are those stocks which have high growth potential in future but currently are highly valued whereas the value stocks are those which are available cheap in the market currently compared to their actual potential taking a high level example the green energy companies currently can be categorized as growth stocks whereas value stocks can be any which have been beaten down by the market for a bad quarter or any other unfavorable event recently Fund managers also have to decide on their portfolios sector exposure 
some fund managers adopt a sector agnostic approach in which they use bottom up stock picking and do not take sector calls however there are schemes and fund managers which depending on their objective and nature can take conscious sector calls fund managers are answerable to investors the regulatory bodies as well as the trustees of the asset management company hence they need to have a good rationale for their investment decisions and ensure that prospectus and documents are completed filed and distributed as per regulatory requirement they also have statutory responsibilities of maintaining ethical conduct while handling investor money they are also expected to follow the in house processes which are laid down by strict guidelines on portfolio construction stock selection portfolio turnover and risk control another important responsibility of the fund manager is to protect investors money they need to make sure that in order to protect the wealth they employ the right risk management techniques and also achieve the optimum diversification of their portfolio to minimize the market or interest rate risk on their portfolio a significant part of fund managers day is spent on meeting with companies top executives where they want to invest or they are already invested to know and discuss their short term plans and long term plans and then take a stock picking call accordingly another important part of their responsibility is to do meetings with institutional investors who have invested in his or her scheme or would like to invest in the scheme and keep them informed about their past performance and also their future strategies and then attract more funds in the portfolio fund managers also need to communicate with the retail investors especially in major market events such as general elections or global events such as brexit to make sure that retail investors do not panic and stay invested in the fund with so many responsibilities fund managers need help and for that they hire they outsource some of the work and they oversee their staff and apart from this they are also responsible for training them and making sure that they perform up to their expectations with all these roles and responsibilities many of the fund managers are consistently performing above their benchmarks in last 20 years and then there are few who are catching up so it is important that you identify the right fund manager for you and accordingly invest in that scheme it is very clear from here that it is not possible for an individual or a stock broker to perform all these responsibilities and take an informed decision and a long term view of your portfolio so with this thought we close this topic and if you have any comment or a question please do write in the comment section below till then happy investing and have a great time ahead